Yeah, uh, Gilbert uh, and George is it? No, that's uh, those artists. Okay. Yeah, well, they're called Siegfried and Roy. But, yeah. but anyway, who, have... but who may or may not be gay? Yeah. Yeah. And if they are, so what? And if they are, so what? But yeah. if they're not, uh, and they no, don't, I just look... said that so you knew, knew I was talking about. Cause sure. Okay, the two gay ones. Those yeah, go on. two possibly gay. Guys. Yeah, let, let's not worry about libel law um, anymore. Then all. Yeah, if you shave on. a tiger's head. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Well, right, okay, you got to treat that sentence with a lot more reverence than you did. <laughs> Think what you're saying. If you shave a tiger's head, not just his head, its whole body. If you... Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. So I thought you, I thought you were getting weird. Go on. Then, yeah, if you shave a tiger, yeah, go on. It's still stripy underneath. The yeah. Skin, the skin's. Is stripy. it like rock? <laughs> it goes all, it the, like way all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Where did you hear that one? That's. I remembered that. Like, I was. Was that drunk? Just shouting it in the street. <laughs> 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 I shaved a tiger and it's still stripy. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I must yeah. make a note of that thing's time. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting fact. We well, you know a polar bear. Polar bear's um skin is actually um black and its fur is transparent, not white, and it gives the illusion. So it uh, gets all the radiation possible from the sun but it's still camouflaged. I didn't understand that, Rick. Sorry, you lost me. If its skin's black, a polar and, bear's and skin, skin is black. And its fur is translucent. And its fur is translucent. So why is it white when we see Well it's just because the the light hits it and the sun reflects on yeah it. and it makes it look white yeah so if you look at each individual hair it's actually translucent so at night hair. it would be black <laughs> well everything is is it yeah oh not bright stuff rick <laughs> <laughs> you've embarrassed yourself play a record oh i know all about animals and stuff do you rick <laughs> did they ever wash each other by mistake they go oh oh oh, oh. that ends there that ends there like those things in supermarkets. They put <laughs> yes. one of those down. We go, oh, 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 oh. You, you put that there. What do you mean? You know the things on the conveyor belt, the little the little dividers. Yeah, they but, wind me up. Those dividers. I sorry, I was a complete tangent, but I, for some reason, it's my own psychosis. But I get so annoyed if I'm in a supermarket. I've got my shopping. I'm just about to get served. And you can always see there are certain people who stand behind you getting edgy, itchy, worried that I'm not going to put the divider down to separate my shopping from theirs. It's like they're terrified that I'm somehow going to deliberately pay for their Sneaking shopping. Sneaking their onion. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get an onion. I'll have that. Mm. And it's just... But what annoys me is it's not so much that... Obviously, it's a practical thing. Mm. It's the fact that they get a little bit edgy. You can actually see certainly kind of... Um, dare I say it? A certain breed of woman and a certain breed of fella will uh, just get a little bit itchy, a little bit edgy... And they just, they just look at you, you can just see them sweating, especially if they can't read. I just lean over and do it myself. Well, I know, but it's the thing is that it's like they almost feel that they, uh, they ought to wait for me to do it, as though somehow it's my obligation. And it just annoys, for some reason, it's, I know it's ludicrous, but it really annoys me. And I actually deliberately don't put the divider down just to see them sweat. I like the way that they're, that they're actually quite well made. There's some that are brass with like a yeah. felt bottom. Yeah. Like you really care, like a, a twig would do, wouldn't it? <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? But so uh, I just leave a slight gap. And then yeah. when it gets to the, when the woman's putting it through the, the till or the guy, I just say, that's my stuff. Do you ever look at the people shopping and go, oh, I should have got that? Often. Oh, yeah. That's annoying. It's, I'll tell you what it is, it's the same thing, and again, it's my psychosis. When people, if you're on a bus or a train, and we're pulling into the stop, but there's a good, you know, kind of 35 seconds before we're actually going to come to a halt, they know. leap up, they get and they're first, straight yeah. by the door. Yeah. Look, but it's this fear that something, they're going to miss out. Oh my god, what if I fell over yeah, now and broke my is, ankle, I'd never get be, out. To be fair, I've never had that that um commuters worry i've never commuted but every second counts doesn't it because you miss a train it can make a difference of half an hour so that's why commuters literally run to but, get their connections but the thing is that with a bus yeah um you, you know there's often you'll be people who are sat right next to the exit will get up and stand up for a while waiting to get out it just again i'm not saying what, it's not it makes I'll perfect sense to them got a day it's to my live, psychosis they're going to be mowed down in the streets <laughs> they you're will just gonna, be a few you're going to be in a lovely chrysler Exactly. Yeah. Just... Well, I will be going straight through a branch of Waitrose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> taking people out in the in the. So in the well, we do not condone going through Waitrose in a car. Either. In a car. I didn't really appreciate the Stones when I was younger. I was always a Beatles fan, but now I can't really listen to the Beatles. I just no. like, it's like I've used them up. It's about you know? five tracks I like. Yeah, the but the Stones just get better and better. And that one's brilliant. Hearing. And the video is so good. Oh, well. amazing! From 1981, that was uh, waiting on a friend from the Rolling Stones. Right. Uh, what have we got? We've got more fun coming up, I imagine. Yeah, Cheeky Freak of the Week. Uh, an amusing story about inflatable testicles. We've already given you half an hour talking about gay people. Who <laughs> knows what else will be coming up? Yeah, a big market. XFM. Out of Time by Blur on XFM 104.9. Alright, Carl, what are you thinking? Stinking. That stuff. <laughs>
You're an enigma, aren't you? I would just say hello to, we've got an American listener, apparently, Karen. Anyway, well, so not, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that might fill up four seconds. We're not struggling, are we? No, no, I no, mean, no, no. We well, no, just consult the list of, oh, uh, on, of Dr. Fox-esque amusing Wife, topics. Wet Ones, Screwball, Shop Train, Cheeky Freak, Ronan. Ronan. What's what that? was Ronan? Ronan. I just was, uh, telling you the other day about, you know, that, that song that he does, uh... Loving every day as if it's your last one. Right. Yeah. I'm just thinking he's saying that as if like, oh, I'll have a good day. But I reckon if if you knew it was your last day, I don't think you'd be in the mood to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what, that's true. But well, yeah. I but, think the point is that it's living a day like it's your last. So God, God, imagine if it was every day like the last. Right. Let's go mental. And the good thing is we've got tomorrow. So he's got the best of both worlds. That's what Ronan's saying. He's saying cram it in because it might be the last. I think it's more like. It's the not knowing, isn't it? Live every day. See, I'd be see, I'd actually be happy if if I never knew mm. when I was going to die, yeah. uh, and I was definitely going to die in my sleep. What a brilliant life you'd have! Do you know what I mean? What? So you don't get an illness, but one night you go to bed and I know that if you knew you were going to die in the sleep and never knew when you were going to die, it wouldn't matter if it was tomorrow or thirty years time. It wouldn't matter, would it? Yeah. I've lost you, haven't I? I've lost you somewhere. I can't, I can't, that was, see, I thought that was pretty easy, all that. I said, die in your sleep and not know when you died. There was no high concept there. No, no sleight of hand linguistically. What, where did I lose you? I think you lost him on sleight of hand linguistically. <laughs> just then. <laughs> you lost him again. Yeah, I, I think that's the way I'd, I'd want to go. I don't, I don't want to know about it. That's why I don't go to the doctors or anything. <laughs> that's a good, Brilliant. good approach. And he, 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 do you remember him saying, he, uh, He's gonna die of cancer because he uh, doesn't check his balls. He doesn't like the feel. Of course, of course. What do they feel like? Your balls? Like a like a wet chamois leather. <laughs> <laughs> With two marbles, two kumquats in a wet chamois leather. No, but I just. I... Why are they wet? Sweaty. No, they're not. I'm just saying smooth. Are they smooth? Yeah, because a, a, a chamois leather's smoother when it's. Do you shave them? No, I don't. In case, a, in case a fireman pops around, you want to look your best. It looks <laughs> like your head. You know, the fireman pops around, there you are, and he goes, oh, nice, smooth. So you never go to the doctors? What even? I don't, I don't like it. But if you found some buboes under your arm or something, you... I'd wait for a bit, and I'd, I'd say to Suzanne, what do you think of that? <laughs> Just see if it develops into play. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because you know, don't you? you know, old bandages <laughs> around your head. <laughs> yeah. And a bell. Yeah. Suzanne, yeah. Wait, well, can you get me a bell? <laughs> exactly. Brilliant. I don't... You know, there was this kid at our school we took the piss out of for the basically the rest of his time there because when <laughs> he was about eleven, someone said, "How oh, would you want to die?" Right? We do that thing, drowning fire, all that. He said, "I want to die of old age in my mother's arms." How old was he? About eleven, Lucy. <laughs> Oh, my mother's arms. <laughs> no. What, getting off with her? What does that mean? Die of old age. You don't to throw old cheat. <laughs> Brilliant. I want to die of old age with my nan and my mum. <laughs> yeah, all in the same bed. <laughs> oh, dear. So, if you, if you, if, if it was the last day, if you had w one day to live, okay, yeah. what would you do with your day? Now, let's assume that, um, it's, you're not, you're not in a state of ill health. There's not much you can do, though, It's just the end of the world. And you've what do you mean day? there's not much you can do? I mean, that's what we're asking you. It's the last day of your life. It depends, doesn't it? If, if, if we're all in the same boat, if someone says, oh, unlucky, um, without bitterness, like, oh, we accidentally exposed you to some radiation boys and you've got a day, or if it was like there's a meteor coming this way, we're all in the same boat, it, I think it would be different. It depends whether it's you it make uh, and the rest of the world. No? I'd do the same thing. I'd steal a car and go joyriding. <laughs> but, like, go mental. I'd be smashing stuff. I'd be knocking people over for a laugh. I'd yeah. be going crazy. It'd be like Grand Theft Auto. Right. Okay. <laughs> it would be extraordinary. Brilliant. Driving through park. That's what I, that's through what I did in the getaway. Yeah. I tried to play it seriously, and within about ten minutes, I was just going around areas I knew, yeah, trying to exactly. knock people over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think I'd want to do that much. Seriously. You can watch telly, because you, you might not know how the thing ends. <laughs> sure. Ah! Yeah, if you waste uh, time. You could watch 24, couldn't you? If you had a day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On DVD. Do that then, do that. <laughs> do that, yeah. Well, but I mean, let's be honest, you've, let's say you, you know, you could take all the money out of your bank account, you can fly anywhere in the world, you can do whatever you want. Well, you've not got, a long flight, you could. Well, no, but you've got your Australia, you wouldn't make it, would you? No. Um, oh, why, why don't you, why, why, 
why wouldn't you go to the monkey sanctuary down in Cornwall and just go around cuddling as many monkeys as you can? I'm gonna tell you something now. Go on. Go in there next week. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Taking my mum and dad away, cause like, Suzanne's mum and dad are <laughs> What are you doing? Most, <laughs> most people put them in a home. What are you gonna say? How you a monkey sanctuary? It's cheaper. Taking, taking them down, uh, yeah, taking them down to Cornwall. Hold on, uh, I thought you said you'd never go away with parents again. No, no, but that was Suzanne's mum and dad. Oh, this is, is this to get so, even or something? So, yeah, so we'll do that and then, then we'll can it, then. <laughs> <laughs> that was your outing. Oh. Your phone and both sets of parents are goes, right, you won't be seeing us ever again on holiday. We've taken you away, we've taken you away. Be careful that the monkey people don't buy you off your parents. Yeah. You and know, don't make sure, like they make sure they don't leave any of the monkey's food in the telephone box, because Dad will have that away. Yeah. No. I was talking to him about that the other day. About <laughs> the, uh, nicking him phone boxes. And he, uh, Should we just me. explain that to Well, they live in a small village in Wales, and, uh, it's like one sort of utility store, and when it's shut, they leave you shopping in the telephone box across the road. And Carl's dad found out about this, <laughs> goes and helps himself. Yeah, to other people shopping. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, go on. And, uh, I was talking to him about that, saying, you know, have you picked up any surprises in the phone box? And, uh, he said, no, no, we were talking about other stuff he used to do. Uh, one of them used to be going in this supermarket, right, in Manchester. Yeah. Needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah. Go in, take a new pair off the shelf, pop them on, leave his old ones there. Really? And walk out again. Yeah, brilliant. Floor and then you go in after and buy his old ones back like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'd go in the next day. Ain't that nice? My <laughs> yeah. dad's got a pair just like that. I've always wanted to. <laughs> Can I have those? <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, we don't advocate the stealing of shoes from shop. Or, or, or the joyriding and killing people. <laughs> Unless you've got one day left. Okay. <laughs> or phone boxes. <laughs> We've yeah. got, um, Go educating, we quick, quick? educating Ricky, where yeah, the teachers Because really well, well, you, you taught me that people used to eat tomatoes off lead plates in the land of Narnia yeah, last week, which was we good. Week. Yeah. No, Is it was... only tomatoes they eat off the lead plates, by the way? Why, why didn't they think other fruits and vegetables were poisonous? Be no, it wasn't. It was because tomatoes had acid in them. That was the problem. You see, you don't, don't, don't listen. listen, right? Well, lots of fruits have acid in them. Yeah, but they didn't eat them back then. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't have bloody kiwi fruit and stuff, did they? Don't bloody. You're a producer. Come on, you'll start, I start saying uh, shit and cock and stuff, you start saying bloody. Tits. <laughs> right, so, right. Uh, What is this? What are you doing now? This is educating Ricky. Right? Oh, good, I'm gonna look forward to this. Yeah, Three Ricky. topics that I teach you every week. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, um, I should just remind people, you normally summarise each of these in a kind of bullet point heading, which you tease us with, so yeah. what have you, uh, reduced them to this week? Right, we've got, um, Stocking, Aitken and Waterman. Stocking <laughs> Aiken and Waterman. Good. Yeah. Uh, what else have we got? <laughs> We've also got, uh, what else is it? It's not his, his vault. Yeah? It's not what? It's not his vault. Okay. Yeah. And we've also got, get a lobe of this. Get a lobe of this? Yeah. Carl, they're genius. <laughs> Rick, are we choosing one of these after new order? <laughs> Oh, Foo Fighters and All My Life on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Jamaica with me, Stephen Merchant and Carl Felkinson. <laughs> so, um, just before we do educating, uh, Ricky, this is where Carl thinks he can give me something of interest and teach me something to take away. Last week I found out that, uh, somewhere in a strange land people thought tomatoes were poisonous because they ate them with lead. Um, things like that. Um, what was the other one you told me? Uh, was it last week? Uh, bit so, of worms. Got yeah. me off. Yeah. Oh, I, I uh, sent him a text message. I was on the train, a bit bored, and, uh, I read in, I think it was Metro, scientists have found out that, um, uh, worms get stressed. And they found out that, uh, the fat ones, um, didn't live as long. And when they checked the thin ones that lived longer, they found out they had a gene for de-stressing them. Right? Carl, what, did you remember what you said? No. He went, well, that's stupid, isn't it? He said, did these uh, other ones die of natural causes? <laughs> I went, yeah, he went, all right. Because it could be that the fat ones couldn't get off the pavement quick enough and got squashed. <laughs> so maybe the scientists go, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, they used to come to think of it, they were flat as well as fat. The I think the reason that the, uh, worms are getting stressed is because, uh, people like Carl are cutting them in half to try and make two snakes. Yeah. 
Yeah. Two, two rooms. Well, yeah. Well. That's the concern. <laughs> he huh? said, he said they can't even commit suicide if they're stressed by cutting <laughs> their throat. <laughs> <laughs> I also sent him what I thought was quite interesting that the scientists have found that, um, the elephant hasn't got the best memory. The sea lion has, uh, right. based on, uh, they've, they've got a sea lion and they, uh, got it back into the old, uh, laboratory ten years after it had taught it a simple trick and it could still do the trick. What did you say to that, Carl? I'd say they don't go up to much anyway. <laughs> so if you do teach you something, it is going to remember it. Sure. Because it's got nothing else to do. Yeah. yeah. And then it also, I mean, I like sea lions. They look nice and everything, but what do they do? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> sea lions? <laughs> yeah, what, what are they here for? It's another jellyfish, so, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's like, it's there and people know about them, but what do they do? Mm. Yeah. What, does what do we do? do? What do we do, Carl? Well, what do we do? A, a cat, a cat, first, Steve said, is good for your heart. So you. you Why is it all geared to what's good for us? Well. <laughs> anyway. Educating Educa Ricky. Ricky. Good, uh, we've settled that then. Go on. <laughs> the titles that are, yeah. uh, meant to sort of pull you in. Yeah. We've got, if, uh, what, what, what was it? So, uh, Stocking, Aitken and Waterman. Yeah. You've got, it's not his vault. <laughs> and, uh, get a load of this. <laughs> get a load of this. So, uh, which pun do I pick first? Um, I think I'll go for, uh, get a load of this. Get a lobe of this. Yeah, get yeah. a lobe of this, yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's a story about a girl who, uh, <laughs> she was deaf, right, for, for four years. And, um, it happened quite a bit back this. What year? Or was it, about, what, what, I think specific, it was in, ages ago, was about, it? About, yeah, quite a bit back. Yeah. Uh, she was deaf for about four years. Having an argument with her mum, it said, which I didn't quite understand, because mm. I don't know how they do that. Yeah. But she was having an argument, well, and a man pushed her against the wall, yeah. and she banged her head, and a hearing came back. Okay. Uh, was she wearing a Walkman, and it fell out, and she'd realised, oh, that's There's what. no explanation. There's no explanation? Well, why is that teaching me something right, then? so I knew you'd say this, <laughs> right? So I thought, right, I'll stick something on it. Do you know that bees are deaf? <laughs> no! No, you can't just, no! <laughs> If no. you ask someone something they don't the answer to, they don't tell you something else. Just I'll tell you something else then. I can't answer that, I'll tell you something else. Imagine that, if you asked a teacher. Look, how do birds fly? Wow, if you're gonna do that, tallest building is, <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> well, that, that was the equivalent, Carl, of running away. <laughs> when we asked you a question. Yeah, the intellectual equivalent of going, look over there, there's a monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen. What do you mean? What she? Okay, so oh. so she. Her hearing There's no came explanation. Back. There's no explanation. <laughs> or you don't know. Well, there isn't one. Is there really? It's a bit what, weird. Did but the doctors, only did thing. Did doctors that... not look into it? No, I think they just said, "Oh, that's good." <laughs> But, so, so again, I don't. <laughs> where did this information? Is that if you read this on is the that net? Is it? that all they put? There on was in once it? a no. deaf woman who hit her head. And she and could hear. Came back. It was bizarre things about being deaf. Was there three? Oh, like, yeah. was there I've three got that book. Yeah, it's a good book. That was there three yeah. more pages. You just couldn't be bothered to read off. Yeah. No, no, it was just a little bit. And it was said, there a little picture, a cartoon picture? No pictures. I just read going, it. Ow! Look, Ow, if you I don't want to know, if you don't want to learn, you know. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, uh, um, it's not his vault. Let me have it's not his vault. You've got to save this. This has got to teach me something. It'll be an interesting story. Right, it's not his vault. This fella. Yeah. Um, what year? Ages ago? times? In, I'd say in the 70s. Okay. Would you? <laughs> Any evidence for that? I'll, uh... Does he wear flares in the, uh, <laughs> in the story? Right. Is that it's your reason? No, it's, it's a bit like Yori Geller, this fella, right? Where oh. he's electric. He's electric. And, um... If he walks past the telly, the telly would fizz. Uh huh. If he walked past the radio, it all goes like that. Ooh. His hair stuck up all the time. Ugh. And he'd be having a bath and everything would be alright and then the power would sort of switch on in his body and the electric in his body made him jump out of the bath. <laughs> so. <laughs> what do you mean so? What is that so- what does that so mean? <laughs> You've given us nothing. You've given us nothing. You'd have to at least give us the scientific explanation. Yeah. Electric eels have 400 volts in them. Oh, is this the running away again? <laughs> what was that one called? Yeah, but they-, they, they but it's, not, a, it's not his vault. But there's a reason <laughs> they-, they, 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 they <laughs> <laughs> Not his vault! It's not his vault! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something about I keeping think it we safe. Should, I think we should do these the other way around. <laughs> I think we should tell vault. us the story and then we'll hear the pun. <laughs> It's not his fault. It's not his fault. Right, let's leave it. Play it. <laughs> Educating Ricky. We're doing it. Uh, We're not doing it. No, we are.
Oh. What? Don't look at me like that. Oh, Carl, what? you in a bad mood? The oh, Carl, I'm dreaming right. of you. Right, do the last one. Do the last one. Carl's saying we're never doing this again because we don't appreciate it. Yeah, Carl, you don't know how good this feature is, mate. Right, last one. Yeah. Stocking Aitken and Waterman. Go on then, tell me about that one. What's that? What am I gonna learn from this? Right, well, do you know the saying, put a sock in it? <laughs> 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 I like it already. Do you know the saying? Yeah. Right, well, do you know where it comes from? I assume it's shut up, so I'll stuff your mouth with a sock to well, shut you up. years ago. Yeah. Sorry, am I right? Mm, no, not really. Ages ago. 1970s? Uh, 50s, okay. I'd say. Do you know the old, uh, <laughs> I'd say! Do you know the old gramophone? Yeah. With the, with the big horn on it? Yep. Yeah. Right, well, those stereos didn't have a volume control on them. Right? So they'd be listening oh, to so the you'd put album, a sock in the And you'd put, mute. you'd put something like a sock. That's on. a real one, you see. That's taught me something. That's, that's good. That's yeah. excellent, Carl. That is the, that is the only one that counts, like chewing the fat. If they're true, I'm assuming they are. It works. It's of interest. I haven't got it verified yet, but that is educating Ricky. That's brilliant. I will say the other two were more entertaining. So you know, I do don't. You see, do you understand the distinction though between that one and Electrical Man? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, or <laughs> I've hit me head. I can hear you, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> can you see the difference though? Or uh, are not, all, all not three? Because I, when I read all three, I took something away. From all of them. What, what did you, you take, take away, away from the, the electrical man? I just thought, oh, imagine that. Imagine how annoying <laughs> that would be. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah. not education, is and it? And it's really? not taking anything no, but away. What, think about it, right? We take our lives for granted all the time, don't you? You get up in the morning, it's like, oh, I'll, I'll get up and walk for a shower. Some people can't walk, right? Yeah. yeah. This guy, he can't even have a. You know, I mean, it's nice to have a bath, isn't it, when you've got time on your hands yeah. and you can relax. This guy can't even do that. He might be all right for a bit, but he's not really enjoying it because at any moment it could strike. Yeah. So, he can't even do that. He can't comb his hair because it keeps going to mess. Yeah. He can't watch <laughs> his hair. Talking you. No, he can't. <laughs> does, he, does he fight crime? What does he do with his powers? <laughs> yeah. I think he just has to sit around because no one, he can't work with machinery. Right. Because he'll probably blow a fuse. Yeah, so he just sits around. Think about it. What can he do? Mm. What normal things can he do? Skateboarding. Going for long walks. Yeah. Put a wetsuit on. Well, he can't do that. Why? Ooh, water and electric. No, no, wetsuits aren't actually wet. <laughs> They're dry right, initially. But, just put a whole wetsuit on and walk round with flippers and A wetsuit's not like a dinner jacket that's like <laughs> really wet. <laughs> well, yeah. All, all I'm saying is think. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay. And, right. and what was the and other one? The, the, the girl's death, the four the years it's her head. Yeah. That's just. What uh, have you learned from that? What is that? Well, mm. imagine, imagine how happy you'd be. Remember that time when I, uh, <laughs> I nearly died when I choked on a Mr. Freeze pop? <laughs> Right, no, but, tell but, us that one again. No, I told you, didn't I? Tell us it, again. Yeah, but the people will remember it and then it's- They annoying. weren't, they weren't listening. Go on. What happened? It was ages ago when my mum and dad used to go out shopping on a Friday. 1970s? Get, all, get, all, get the food in. <laughs> get, get a week's load of food in the cupboard and that and we'd, uh, you know, they'd come in with all the food <laughs> and we'd all be like, oh god, you know, there's no food left on a Thursday really so we'd all be hungry on the Friday by the time the food got in. Mm. I that, that they would like, need a, it's a, it's a, I imagine him like jackal puppies. Yeah. Just like, like, uh, 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 licking your parents' mouth for food as so, they come through the door. So they come in from the supermarket, they're empty in the box. Our kid had got some biscuits and what have you. <laughs> I, I, it's frenzy, uh, just a feeding frenzy, like pigeons. I grabbed the Mr. Freeze pop <laughs> and knocked it back really quick, but it hasn't, it wasn't frozen, so I knocked it back so it was like a liquid and it went down the wrong way, right, yeah. and I was choking, right, and I nearly died. It, it must have been about, how long can you go before you die? A couple of minutes to do right, it. I reckon about a minute fifty. <laughs> right, I was, uh, <laughs> I was really close to dying. <laughs> How do you know you were close to dying? Me, uh, me, did your life flash before you? No, but I just was like, <laughs> there's loads of incidents of him eating pops. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just, <laughs> just, I just was dead. Forty of those. Whatever, what, right? Anyway. What do you think you'd see <laughs> if your life flashed past you? What do you think <laughs> which elements would stand out for you? Do you think? <laughs> what? What? Uh, Start now. Go back. What do you remember? What's the first thing you remember? As a kid. Yeah, yeah. just anything right. now. Being in the hall and having our dog licking my face. <laughs> 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 That's your earliest memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, zoom. what's the next one? Oh, yeah. Right, next one's oh, probably what? being at being at primary school with yeah. uh, Lindsay. Yeah, was little, that your girlfriend? Well, a little friend who was a girl. Sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we used to have like tins with with letters in, and you'd have to write stuff. But anyway, what are we doing? <laughs> what? He got confused. 
<laughs> right, so anyway. I'm intrigued by the right. dog that was licking your face. Well, bin that. He won't win that. Rock no, it's horses. a great feature. I just think you need to be a little bit more careful about what, what you consider oh, to be mics. education. God, I'm going to fell over. All right, well, right. I'll. Well, we'll work on it next week. Play a tune and. What have you oh. got for us? Because we've got a big competition. We've come got on. To do the competition. We've, we've got only got 20 Yeah, we'll come on, then quit, then. Do play something, play We'll come back with Rockbusters. What, what are we playing? Play? Let's play a bit of, uh, Tupac. Oh, that's what I'm coming out to, isn't it? Yeah. Fight. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine it. Whack it up. Whack it up. Chili Peppers, universally speaking, on XFM 104.9. Well, halfway through, Steve. I'm Ricky Gervais. That was, uh, Mr. Merchant I was referring to there as Steve. <laughs> Familiar. <laughs> friends by now. Five years in the making. Carl Pilkington. I've known him a year and a half, but he's a good friend as well. Alright. Alright, <laughs> XFM, where paths cross. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, so, uh, any interesting things to talk about, guys? Dr. Fox style? Uh, any amusing observations? Have you taken a sideways look at the, the week's news or anything, Carl? What have you? I'll tell you what I did here last night. Go on. Go on. Um. Five Live. They yeah. do like a, a review of what's gone on in the week. We've been busy in the week, I haven't always got time to, to follow what's going on. In the world, sure. Yeah. Uh, someone's made a chicken with teeth. <laughs> 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 what, for what reason? <laughs> Don't know, because they can. <laughs> Just because they can. And, and, like, they, they so it chooses a, food, yeah. It had a, they had a few guests saying, well, you know, where will it all end? Uh, so are you, are you sure you weren't watching a Wallace and Gromit video? No, s seriously. Right. It's, uh, they're doing it. They're a chicken with teeth. Why would they spend millions researching? What do you mean they've got a chicken with teeth? What the f what do you mean there's a chicken with teeth? Sounds mad, doesn't it? What are you talking about, Carl? That's what they've done. Do you know, like... Why? I don't know. They're just messing with science and that. And that's what the people were saying. What? Why are you doing that? Do you know what I mean? Where, where will it start? What's the next thing? They did the sheep. They did the cloning. <laughs> right? The rat with an ear on its back. Did that. Um... Can hear a mouse, a uh, cat coming, can't yeah. it? Uh, what else were they talking about? They were talking about that sheep again, that that cloning one. Yeah, Dolly the sheep. Do you think it's that clever? Does it? They, they, they do all look the same anyway. What's it got to do with its cleverness? The fact being cloned. That being cloned is it? Is it? Do you think that's a good thing? He doesn't think it's that impressive because they look the same anyway. Right. They could have just put any sheep in there and go, look, yeah. they're the same. Yeah, brilliant. So there was a programme, people were talking what about- What are you talking about, a chicken with teeth? That's- it was the latest news, it was like all about the war and that, and I was like, yeah, 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 and then it said chicken with teeth, I said, hang on. Your ears perked up. Yeah, yeah you, didn't, you didn't hear anything about the war, did you? That was like, they might have been as well speaking French, or just like whistles. What? And now, story about a chicken with teeth. Yeah. You stop washing maybe, up, maybe don't someone you? Maybe can, someone can let us know, you know. Oh, God, don't open the floodlights. No, but I'm just saying I don't know the full thing. They just of course you Surprise, don't. surprise! They just touched on it. Yeah. Anyway, other stuff I did do proper research on in the week. Go on. Uh, having uh, testicles done. <laughs> having, your, having your testicles done. Yeah. What does that mean? Same magazine that was doing the hanky coverage. Right? <laughs> Letting you know what all that's about. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a great magazine. How can we get him as a pundit on these new shows like Newsnight? Do you know what I mean? Sky, Sky, Sky News. On there, he? Just on there. Just ask him what they think. Wouldn't that be amazing? Is there a producer out there that would take a chance on Pilkington? It's Pilkington, Raggy Omar, Ian Hislop, and they a panel of people, and they just ask ask people. Yeah. So yeah. You, so you can have you can have your testicles made bigger. Why would you want to do that? Well, that's what I was asking. What's the point? Well, the actual testicles, or do they just inflate your ball bag? Because you could do that, couldn't you? You could uh, have some air injected, so it was like a big, so they'd look bigger, but they'd rattle around inside, wouldn't they? Make a little noise, wouldn't it, when you're. At, <laughs> like <a> manakas, <laughs> like some kind of instrument. <laughs> yeah, like was sort of one of those African instruments. It's like a big sheep's bladder with yeah. little. There's Pedro on the manakas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just, they just, yeah, yeah, just stripped, <laughs> stripped to the waist. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, with us hanging out. Why, and then, why, when, why then when you're sort of like people, the neighbours would think, what's he doing? He's 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 been playing those manakas all night, and really you were, yeah, you know. <laughs> Why, why the mouse with the ear on its back, go and keep it down. <laughs> yeah, this is really loud <laughs> to me. <laughs> hey, why, why, why would someone have that done then? Uh, you brought it up. Yeah, well, presumably so that they could draw a little funny face on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Obviously. And you could let them down after the holiday, like you do a lilo. <laughs> exactly. <And> just <laughs> let them, <laughs> yeah, yeah, on holiday you're floating round, you know, like yeah. you're just in the sea, 
with your big instrumental manakas, right? Just floating. <laughs> you having a whale of a time, right? <laughs> people playing it as they go past. Exactly. All right, Carl. Right, Become yeah. a bit of a sort of local celebrity. Yeah, look, there's Carl with his floating manakas, like a big yeah. jellyfish, right? Yeah. And then the end of the holiday or Saturday. <laughs> if you've got a little pair of tight speedos, it'll be, it'll be like Jordan walking around. <laughs> and then he's like. Just let him down when he comes back. Let the knackers down for the plane. Mm. Yeah. Because they, apparently they do, uh, they do get bigger, don't they, as you get older? When you're an old fella. No, I think they get lower. I think that's it, that testicles and breasts get lower. Is that purely gravity? I think so, yeah. Probably stretching a bit, isn't it? So is it is wear the old, and tear. Is the old fellas who are walking about saying, oh, I'm sick of these. <laughs> yeah, they don't tread on them. Well, that's you know, why old people have always got to have a little sit down. You know, yeah, kind of yeah. Meters. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put them in the socks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or they can have. A, I suppose you can have like a little ball lift. You can have a face lift, can't you? Have a little nip and tuck. Put on, or probably a face lift would help, wouldn't it? Because that if you pull oh. your face up, that's going to that, bring the skin yeah, up. Bring oh. up a little bit. Yeah, don't go too far. You'd have a little knob as a tie, but you can, <laughs> you know, it, you can tighten stuff up. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Steve with his kipper tie. That's a lovely tie you've got there, Steve. <laughs> and you look so young. Yeah. <laughs> What's that little sack underneath it? That little brooch. <laughs> well, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with your little manacas all night, Carl. So, a chicken with teeth, and you can have your balls done. That's... Imagine... Imagine Kirsty Ward, whatever her name is, on Newsnight, saying that. And now, <laughs> two features of the yeah. week. The war in Iraq, let's forget that. Who wants their knackers done? Look at this chicken. Careful, it bites. I think we should send this link to Dr. Fox and see if, <laughs> he, see if he thinks it's an improvement on what he heard during the sonar. Play a record. Play a record. Yeah, get this link, send it to Dr. Fox. He'll love it. Alright. Right. Plus, he'd be offer, able to offer some kind of medical explanation. <laughs> yeah, exactly! Teenage fan club. Oh, brilliant. I think I'll kill the you know the most, uh, you know the biggest complaint ever on TV, the most complaints ever for ending on TV, was the showing of The Last Temptation of Christ. Yeah. Do you know the second, yeah, the se second was, was, I think, Anne Robinson, um, put in the Welsh into Room 101. What, cos she didn't like them and that? Yeah, she just said, well, they're, you know, they're going in the, you know. Can on the she said it slightly more eloquently than that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can on the people or the place. I don't know. I think, I think it, was, it was the place and therefore the people. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? No, well, you know me mum and dad have sort of, uh, moved from Manchester, they reside now in Wales. Oh, right? yeah. And it is, uh... <coughs> Look at his face! Turning his nose up! No, but it, it is pretty depressing. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them places that... Uh, it's like you go back in time and that when you go there. I mean, maybe the major city's there, maybe Cardiff is alright. What, even coming from Manchester it's like going back in time? It's just, uh, it's like one of them places that w it feels like every day is Sunday. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just depressing and grey and slate Lots everywhere. Lots of vicars walking around going on late. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's the sort of attitude they have, right? This, and this is true, because my mum and dad live there and that, right? And they love it, it's alright, it's an healthy place to go when you get older and that. But, this, this is why they don't move on in Wales. Well, because it's like to make another. No, no, sorry no. to any Welsh people listening. We're not saying you don't move on. Carl is. No, but sorry about the little Chinese shoes. Again the thing as well. is, it's good that in a way that they do do that, and they don't want to be like you know rushing about everywhere. Because the way London is isn't that great either, is it? Because sure. it's totally opposite here, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not having a go. It is a bit dull. I think even people who live there will agree with me. Okay. Right. But like one of the shops that my mum and dad use, right? It's only a little sort of villagey type shop. Uh. They can't be bothered staying open for hours and hours, right? Because there's not enough people use the shop. Yeah. So what you do is, uh, they get used to what you buy. And they leave they, it out. They put it in a phone box outside. They put it in a phone box? Yeah. So it doesn't get wet. So my dad's loving that. Well, Once yeah. he found that out, it was like, brilliant. But that, how is that a bad thing? That's brilliant. Well, it's not. For other people, it is for my dad. Because he's picking up all sorts of stuff. Oh, chickens. no, he's not! Oh, yeah. He's not nicking other people's shopping. Well, it's not like nicking, is it? Because it's not theirs yet. <laughs> oh! And you've stitched him up on radio. Well, of course, because yeah. they're going to think, who's that? Wh who is there in town with a mank accent? Who, who, keeps, ma who yeah. keeps making phone calls? <laughs> and is getting fatter? Yeah. That's there. You've stitched him I right love up, that. Right, I Carl. love that. That your dad was excited when he found out 
Oh. I can't believe, I can't believe that he's moved there, he's retired to this little village was... where it's based on trust and community and he is abusing it, he's using his scally mank ways. Bloody hell, like us, and there's no bread again. <laughs> there's old women was going empty? hungry, yeah. their cats aren't getting fed, and your father is just, I can't, oh, that's obscene. That's obscene. Oh, I think it's a die thief. That oh. fella from <laughs> Manchester. I don't even think they've got Sky there yet, have they? They can't listen, they won't, they won't know what's... I think you've stitched him right up. I hope you have, actually, I hope he goes down for it. I hope he's hounded out of the community like Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. They should get burning torches, go up to the set mansion- fire to his, Set fire to his cottage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right, well, He's uh, out of the choir. <laughs> yeah. Has it come to the oh, oh, streets? Well, I know that must be some people's favourite record, Steve. Well, it's certainly one of mine. Thunder Road, Bruce Springsteen. I won't hear a bad word said against the boss. A lot no. of people dismissed him, as we said in the past, as mm. being some kind of stadium rocker, but you can't listen to well, a song like that and not be moved, surely, Carl. It's alright, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> a passionate man. Yeah. What? So, Carl. No, 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 it's alright. So, oh, look, that's, certain songs were like that was that was all right. It didn't sound mm. anything. If it wasn't Bruce Springsteen, if someone new came out, something like that, I'd, I'd go. Yeah, it's all right. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're a regular yeah. Simon Cowell, aren't you? <laughs> I, I don't know if I like music as much as I used to now. That's what happens when you work in it, isn't it? Because there was yeah. a, that Danny Minogue was on the telly. In the Is week. it like when you work in a sweet factory and you, you don't you don't nick the Mars bars after a couple of months? Yeah. Yeah. Danny Min Minogue was on the telly in the week, right? Yeah. And. Uh, she was doing doing a medley. Yeah. Why do people do them? Well, to try do and get all the hits. <laughs> I know, I know what you mean, yeah. But who's that busy that they haven't got time to listen to a full album or... <laughs> <laughs> well, it was like, like, it's like a meal in pill form. Yeah. Well, I like most of Danny Minogue's hits, but I don't like the whole song. Yeah, exactly. So, if you want to just, like, pop the best bits down, 30 seconds, put them all together, yeah. Well, I've got, um... A Stars on 45 record from the 70s. Do you remember those? Yeah. Stars on 45. But it's that, like you say, it was, I mean, this one had kind of, it would be a snatch of Stevie Wonder, followed by the MASH theme, followed by Layla, just the intro. <laughs> it was sort of, it's yeah. not music. Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> well, we do a bit of that, don't we? That's what DJing is, isn't it? It's a bit of everything. But we play the whole song, don't we, often? Mm. Yeah, we, we're better, aren't we, Carl? Oh. So, what do you want to talk about today? Uh, do you want to look at the list? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's got described looks, that's our list we've put. So this is a very amusing sort of link about describing your look. I don't know, what's this? I don't remember this. No, I just was thinking like, uh, you know, everyone's got an idea in their head, right? Of what well, well. Like. <laughs> 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 Careful, Carl. <laughs> don't open yourself up to criticism. Go on, yeah, everyone's got well, an idea. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's got an idea of uh, what they look like and stuff. Uh, if someone wanted to know... What, what I look like, or what Ricky look like, or what you look like, Steve, if that. Yeah. Right? Um, what would you use to describe yourself? Do you know what I mean? Words. Not really. I don't understand. What What do you mean? Well, like, uh... Someone who doesn't know us, we've got to describe, and we've... What, what's, what's the game to hopefully get some sort of interpersonal language going so you know they've got the same image as you, to well, a certain yeah, I, extent? I'm just thinking, if I was to meet Steve in a restaurant... Yeah. Right, I'd, I'd, I'd Nothing untoward going on, we're just hanging out. We're no, just having yeah. a chat, just yeah, having a sure. normal night out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Who's paying? Because, I mean, <laughs> is it expensive? Go Dutch, go Dutch, go Dutch. <laughs> I mean... Right, so, I, I, I say to you, I'll, I'll see you at eight, right, in, yeah. this, in this restaurant. I turn up at the door, it's a bit of a posh place, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so he's uh, Steve Merchant in. Yeah. And the waiter sort of goes, I, I, I don't know, what does he look like, right? And... Uh, Where's he from? Just a f little French fella. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, what does he look like? So I'd, the th thing I'd pick up on first, tall, tall lad. Tall, yeah. And then he goes, oh, well, you know, we've got lots of tall people in, right? Yeah. And I go, oh, big eyes? <laughs> big eyes? Yeah. And then he'd go, yeah, he's over there. I'll be honest with you. I mean, you can have dinner and you can buy me dinner. I'm not sure you're going to get anywhere with me. If you're slagging me off. <laughs> no, no, I'm not slagging you off, though. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just yeah. using, using... What comes to mind? When and can it, and can I just can, tall can and I, big eyes? Can I assume that they know? Like, could I say like easiest for me? Would I'd say uh, looks like Reg Varney from on the buses? Would they understand that? Can I use sort of like 
Yeah, he's, 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 he's 30 odd, this, this waiter. So he'll. Yeah, so I'll go, go, oh, yes, it's, it's uh, Reg Varney, he's sitting over there. Yeah. So yeah, he went right. German towards the end. <laughs> See, <laughs> I describe you more, Rick, I think, as. I would imagine, I'd say, have you ever seen that Johnny Vegas on the telly? <laughs> yeah. Imagine he was inflatable and he just let out a little bit of air. <laughs> right, well, at least that's, that's nice. what Ricky would look as like. As opposed to, like, you know, pumping harder. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, um, what I describe? Carl, I'd describe as, you know those little red monkeys that you see on wildlife programs? They're, little, they're in the trees and they scream when they see a, a, a leopard <laughs> or something. <laughs> so. Shave that. Just right. shave one of those little red monkeys and put some sort of, um, you know, old sort of Manchester gear on it, maybe. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know what I mean? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a, yeah. An anorak and some baggy jeans. I'd uh, like to see how the waiter would react to that. Yeah. Sh- he's got a picture of a monkey, then he's got a picture of it shaved. <laughs> so he's got no hair, <laughs> and then dressed like some kind of manx scally. There go, he's, he's over there. Yeah, he's over there, Carl's over there. That's what I do. Brilliant. So, uh, now, now coming up, the verve, after that, an um, amusing link about gay handkerchiefs. <laughs> really? Looking forward to this. <laughs> oh, I suppose so. Uh, go on then. Oh. Right, uh, we brought it back. Uh, this is where I give a cryptic clue. Well, and some initials, yeah. and you work it out and you win some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to tell you what the prizes are. Needless to say, they're mediocre prizes for a mediocre quiz. Sure, okay, yeah. Oh, well, it's right. DVDs and VHS. And yeah, 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 yeah. VHS, who's still got that? Right, so there's three, three of them, and what you can do now, we've tweaked it a bit. Okay. You can text in. Mm-hmm. Right, so you can email or text. We've tweaked it a bit. Mm. Right? <laughs> 83XFM is the text, or it's ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. What is that what this? it is? 83XFM? That's it. That is good, though, and that yeah. is convenient, because who's got their laptop up and running and exactly. texting? On the so just with your phone. Brilliant. All right. Mine so, couldn't do that. I don't know how to do that on my phone. I don't know how to get... What do you my, mean? Huh? What do you mean? My brother wanted my postcode. He said, text it to me. Mm. I couldn't work out how to do WC and That's 1. because you're an old man. It's so I had, to, I had to write out double U C 1. Oh, for goodness sake. Cause I didn't know how to do it. I can't, it, just, it won't do it for me. Pathetic. It's ridiculous. Go well, on. Well, it's 83936 if, if you have that problem. Right? Right, come on. Get on with the quiz. Right, I don't know. Three, There's too many numbers now. Three, uh... Three clues, here we go. First one is, uh, this Teletubby has got lice. <laughs> right? This Teletubby has got lice. This Teletubby has got lice. Right. The initial A is P, so it's a band or an artist yep. that starts with P, and the clue is, this Teletubby has got lice. Right? Yep. Um, second one. <sighs> I've, I've really, already not holding out much hope I for this. <laughs> Working out. Go on. Uh, right. Second one. I've just messed that first one up. Thing, right? <laughs> oh, for Christ! But wha- when what? I give it out later, it'll be. We'll, I'll sneak it in without. Right? Just don't repeat anything I say. You're an idiot. Listen, you really are no, an idiot. Man. No, 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 play a record. No, play a record. Play a record. You're a fool. Play no, a record. Let me, let me just no, 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 press the no. Press you've ruined it. Well, um, Carl mucked up. Rockbusters, as usual. I mean, it's, uh, you know what? I like it when he mucks it up early because it doesn't waste people's lives sure. for forty minutes. Really, like he's l- mucked it up at the end. Yeah. So obviously, people are already. They they know what it is. They know what it is already. They've said, well, it's police, isn't it? You meant to say nits instead of lice. Yeah. You're an idiot. So that one's gone. So what what have we got next? Right, so that's just an idea. If you haven't heard it before, that's that's how my head works. Right, this Teletubby has got nits. So Poe. P, so Poe is a Teletubby. Yeah. Uh, so so, so when he says cryptic, it's not only what the, what the answer is, it's what the question was meant to be. Sure. So. All right, so there's only two, so you've got even a better chance of winning than that. Well. So. The second one is, I'm saving that money to buy condoms. All right, think about it. Easy, too yeah. easy. J J C. Yeah, right, well that's, that's too. Uh, so everyone's got that one. I feel like saying it now. Yeah, but so don't. That's, don't well, that's say rubbish. It now. Yeah, but you've got to have an easy one in there, otherwise people get bored. Don't First we? one was easy. We gave them the answer. Yeah, but hang on. <laughs> that's the easiest one we've ever had. Police. And the and the th- and the second one is. Yeah. Uh, when you're making bread, add a little bit of colour for a change. All right. The when initials? you're making bread, add a little bit of colour, just change things a little bit. What are the initials? Right? D. Just D? Just D. Right? right? So, what you've got there, I'm saving that money to buy condoms, the initials mm-hmm. JC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's easy, yeah. Next. And, uh, and when you're making some bread, just chuck some, chuck some colour in there. Sure. You know what I mean? Change, yeah. change yeah, it yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, like the clue, the clue changes every time. <laughs> yeah. The clue changes every time. <laughs> Unlike the Times crossword, the clue changes every time it's said. <laughs> 83XFM if you want to text it, or it's ricky.gervais 
at xfm.co.uk. Rubbish. Pointless. Anyway, just rather than reading out the A to Z, right, are we doing Rockbusters answers? Yeah. Go on then. Right, Listen, this is this is built. This has got Chris Moyles, the Breakfast Show on Radio One. <laughs> this yeah. sort of stuff. Well, listen, Go on. Uh, have, we, have we got a winner, Steve? Did we you have. Know? I'll check that in a minute. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, you, you find a found a good winner. Yeah. yeah. Are the Rockbusters clues. The first one was this Teletubby has got no. mitts. Well, we know no, this no, one. No, We've no, done no, that. No. That yeah. was Paul Lice. Yeah. yeah. Right. Rubbish. You ruined it. All right. The second one. I'm saving that money to buy condoms. Too easy, Johnny Cash. That was Johnny yeah. Cash. Rubbish. And the third one was, w when you're making bread, add a bit of colour for a change and sort of, you know, change the colour of it. Right. Right? That was dye dough. <laughs> <laughs> they got that. <laughs> Lucky Man, by The Verve, on XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl, what's the problem with guy Yankees? <sighs> you were, you played Bruce Springsteen last week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you said he had, uh, got a load of trouble on his hands when he had, uh, had a hanky in his back pocket. Do I say that on air or off Well, we were just saying that famously on the cover of the Born to Run, uh, uh Born in the USA album, it's just him, isn't it, with, uh, just the, the, his backside, basically, with, yeah. uh, a red handkerchief. I wasn't looking. Well, I just, uh, well, I, well, I did it for research purposes. <laughs> for this amazing link. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, he had a red handkerchief, I think, in his right hand pocket, and apparently yeah, that signifies... Uh, homosexuality, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was which way you take it. I don't know. These are those myths, aren't they? Right, yeah, well, exactly. I don't even know if, if oh, this is. No, well, I, I read up about it. Okay. Right. Just for a search. And uh, it's all sort of, you know, you've got all different coloured ankies. Are they? Right? Yeah. <laughs> right. And uh, it depends what pocket you put it in yeah. as well. So you've got like the different colours, yeah. different pockets. Yeah. And, uh, Sorry, how many variations are there? Different pockets is what? Well, you've got, like, your, your back pocket, your right back pocket. But what do they mean? Pocket. What do you mean? Well, what do they signify? You can't just tell us they signify so much. What do they signify? Well, some some stuff that we don't really want to talk about, to be honest. What? Sort of, uh, stuff that gays are into. <laughs> right. That's what? That's so what do you mean? What Bar are Barbara Streisand records. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eurovision. No, like, a couple of things that were there that I know we can mention. He said something about. I love that. What he thinks he can't mention, yeah, I love yeah. it. Decency. What is this? 1956? No, 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 but I mean, it isn't just, you know, having it away. Having <laughs> <laughs> it away? I love him! No, having you, it away! You get up to some weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact he didn't want to offend, but he's yeah. offended a lot more people yeah, yeah. by saying of they course. get up to some weird stuff. Right. In your opinion. Yeah, what do you mean? No, do I, what, no but don't, 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 if it's, if, if there is something that I don't know about that it's, like, you can't say on the radio. Yeah, I don't, I'd, I'd rather not. But what do you mean weird stuff? Well, one of them, right, if you've got a red anky, right, <laughs> yeah. in your right pocket. Like yeah. Bruce. Yeah. That's that exactly what, what Bruce had, yeah. Right, well, apparently then, Bruce is an armpit freak. An, ar an armpit <laughs> freak? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> really? No, no. But Carl. that's very specific. Carl. Seriously. Well, what, right, okay, right, okay. What else is there then? Sorry, is there some kind of homosexual body that sat down and, and came up with this at some point? Well, you said we've got, well, this is getting crazy. You've got, like, a blue handkerchief in your top breast pocket. I don't know what that means. You need to sit down. There's some kind of summit. Figure out what it means. Yeah. Well, it, it's just that you're not, you're not free from it either. So if you were to go in, in, in like, a gay bar, yeah. which, you know, you might do if you're straight anyway, because they're, you know, good, good places, I think. Mm hmm. Right? Um, you can't actually go in there if you've got a cold, because every coloured hanky represents something. Right. So if I was to go in, add a bit of a, a sniffle. sniffle, I could get into all sorts of trouble. <laughs> right. Well, for that, a Marks and Spencer's white linen hanky, that means you Ooh. like to be tied up and whipped. Yeah. There was another one, um, Armpit Freak we've covered. Uh, yeah, Armpit Freak is done. <laughs> we've covered. <An> armpit Freak. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what that means. No, no. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah. But there was just one other thing, like a blue and white one, <laughs> is if you're into sailors. To so sailors? Like, yeah, if you have a little blue and white anky, that's in your left pocket. Yeah. Right. Um, blue and white equals sailor. Okay, we've got to sort this out. We didn't meet again this week, and this is a shoddy show. I thought we had a sort of framework for it, but, um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, I thought, be, you know, Carl could sort of tell him what was going on. He doesn't know anything except watching telly. Late night telly on strange channels, like he gets all his information uh, about the news on Ananova, and, I mean, 
I, I even tried it out because um, Monkey News last week was awful. It wasn't Monkey I mean, News. It wasn't Monkey News. It was. I, I, I can't remember. On, it. I've been away on holiday. Brilliant. Yeah, and the m Monkey News stops. Uh, um, I, I phoned him up there on there was a, there was a front cover um, of the I think it was the Telegraph one day this week, and um, it was an ironic story. It was a fluff piece, but it was a funny story. It was about a um, a monkey in a uh, in a zoo that had had a a, a a ruck with its father because it's adolescent. It was like the equivalent of like sixteen to eighteen, and it had a fight with its father, and it escaped. It ran away, and it was like you know an interesting story. Yeah. I phoned Carl up and said, "There's a monkey news. Um, a monkey has escaped from its cage after an argument with its father." And he said, "What was the argument about?" <laughs> I mean, he thinks like Homer Simpson. Yeah. Amazing. What was the argument about? Like the zookeepers are going, oh, look, oh no, he's brought up his untidy room again. The father, oh, look, he's caught him smoking. Again. I mean, what do you mean? What was the argument about? They have fights. They oh. have fights, and then it ran away. His dad wanted him to go to college, but he just wants to quit and get a job. <laughs> yeah, and he, he fancied a monkey in the other cage, and the father was saying, "She's not good enough for you." No. Oh, so what was it about? News today? Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of them. You got a little bit of monkey news, right? Yeah. You've redeemed All yourself right. then this we're, week. We've got some stuff there and that. Josh Rags, it's the night time on XFM 104.9. Uh, Steve Merchant, Ricky Gervais, Carl Pilkington. Um, and uh, what we what is, is it time? Is I it think time? I think so. Yeah. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Right then. So uh, there's this monkey, right? Right. In Canada, it's in a zoo in. Uh, Toronto, I think it is. Mm. Um, his name's Pascal, right? And uh, what happened was all the, the people in the zoo uh, sort of said, you know, what can we do? Uh, sort of spice the day up a bit. Right? Yeah. So they left. Embellishing. Uh, no way this is a new story. Okay. So they, they left. Any dates? Just uh, let him read the news. Well, right? they, I, 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 interrupt Moira Stewart. It was an outing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because she always says today, <laughs> so you know it's news. She doesn't say right. There was a monkey, right? <laughs> right. Well, in then, Canada, on, right? Just finish okay. Be all right. A couple of weeks ago, in this zoo in Canada, right? Um, Jesus. They got a camcorder, right? And they said, let's let's leave it for the uh, for the monkey to have a, a play with, right? So um, anyway, they, they passed Wh it around. One of BAFTA. And a couple of chimps and that were rubbish at it. They were like filming the floor and all that, and the fingers were always in shot and stuff like that, right? But anyway, there was one, this this one chimp called Pascal, right? Who, uh. Annoys he, me that he calls them monkeys, though. He They're was, not monkeys, they're he apes. Was, he, was a, he was a dab hand at it, right? He was like, <laughs> uh. Filming stuff, really good shots, you know, sort of nice mood and that. He used the lighting properly and all the rest of it. <laughs> no, he didn't. Just let. This is this the news? What are you talking about? This is the news. <laughs> this is God, so Steve anyway. is so annoying. You know, it annoys me so much. <laughs> Things like that. He was a dab under. He was doing really good shots. It really <laughs> annoys me. Let's hear the anyway, news. Anyway, right. So he started uh, at night, like when the zookeepers went home. He started filming like other monkeys on on the go, like, like whilst they were at it, right. And he was filming them and what have you. The and Ron Jeremy of I the zoo. It. You yeah. know it's gonna end up on the web. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the zookeepers came in the next day and it's like, let's see what shots he's got. Anyway, he's got all this like, you know, all these monkeys at it and what have you. So, oh yeah, um, this is, uh, uh, honestly, so, <coughs> you so, don't know what this is doing to me, Steve. So Can I stop him now? So they thought like, uh, actually there's a few monkeys who, who aren't at it enough. Do you know what I mean? They have problems and what have you, so let's give them the videos. That is so it. untrue! This is so untrue! So, it's so untrue that it was filmed by a monkey! So it's so untrue! Then, right? Rick, I don't know so, who to believe. <laughs> so oh god! You're talking so much shit again! So you must know that's not true, there's so no way! There's a load of tapes out. Look at me! Always. Look at me! Don't keep talking, look at me! Yeah. You must know that's not true! Can it's we just hear, hear the end of this news? You. you had a go at me last week because I didn't have the full story. I've got the full story, you're still not happy. There is no way mm. that B by chance, one, all this, oh, what should we do? Let's give him a camcorder. That could happen. Right. He then films him at it. That might happen. It might happen, but I don't think he'd keep the camera still. Uh, uh, uh two, they go, hold on, oh, yeah, this is good stuff. This is good shit. This porn's good shit. Anyway, Look at so that. He's got a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. So oh, this is got, ridiculous. So let me just recap, because I, I lost my way there. So the monkey has filmed the, the monkey porn, yeah. and now he's, they're showing it to the other monkeys. Is he directing? Can you hear him just, saying stuff? Can you hear him go, it's like, just like, you know, chimp pimp one, two, and three, and all the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so they've got all these other tapes, um, because what happened was, 
um, they said he's quite good at this. Oh, and, and the animals, God! And the animals are, uh, happy having him around because he's not a human, he's just one of the gang, do you sure. know what I mean? So they started putting him in with other things like, you know, ostriches. Right. <laughs> and talking shit. I, I there was- I, So- And do you know they have a problem with pandas in- in Japan? Yeah. So they've- they've sent him out there, filming, uh, filming a bit of- where are you going? It's, you, you, honestly, you, you- you really annoy me. There's Come no on, way this is happening. Can we it's just hear the end? Why can't he just find a real story about a- a- a-, a, a monkey? Let's hear I mean, the, the end! end the end is he's really- he's, he's going to China, he's, he's filming the pandas and what- No he's not! They wouldn't send a monkey director! They would not send a monkey director! Oh, they would not send a monkey director! Do it now. Should we do it now? Well, let's. I think we should have a, a white van man session. Oh, white van man. I think man people person. tune in for the white van man. Yeah, people haven't tuned in. They don't know. If people aren't familiar with this, uh, <laughs> the Sun runs a column uh, every day, which is uh, asking some punter from the street their views on the week's big uh, events, and we just thought, why not hijack that idea but apply it to Carl Pilkington? I Carl, seen much news again this week. You've not seen much news. Don't worry, I'm sure you have an opinion on just it Just have anyway. you, just g give us it from your heart. So gladiator. Okay, so, well, on the subject of gladiator, what do you make of Russell Crowe's appalling behaviour at the BAFTAs? This is, um, I heard a bit about this. This is, um, when he, he got some director or something, cause... Director or producer and threatened him, cause they cut his bit, didn't they? they yeah, they cut a poem that he'd done during See, the acceptance speech. I, I watched it on Sunday night. Sure. I didn't realise it wasn't live, to be honest. Yeah. But, um, I quite liked the way it was to the point and didn't mess about. It was, he went up, he said thanks. So you're saying that he shouldn't have beaten up the, uh, director? <laughs> Is that uh, what you're basically saying? It's a bit over the top. You thought I so? I mean, <laughs> if you didn't have time, if you really, I mean, what's, what's the poem got to do with the, the film anyway? He, he was an awards So do you think it's ever justified to beat up a TV director if you're a major Hollywood star? Depends what he's done, but I mean, <laughs> right? What would he have to have done, Carl, for it to be fine for him to then beat him up? The thing is, right? Forget all the beating up. At the end of the day, it was a awards thing for a film. The poem had nothing to do with the film. Yeah. So go up, collect your award for that thing. And if you really, really wanted people to hear about this poem, he could have photocopied it and sure. left it at the entrance and said, "On your way out, this is a really nice poem. Pick one up." <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is. He knew it was televised, so he knew by saying that poem once, he was reaching five million people. That's a, not, that's a lot of photocopies. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not saying he was justified. It wasn't, it wasn't a poem award. If it was a, an award <laughs> show for poems, you'd say you can't cut it out. It'd be like doing the top 40 and then going, number one's good, but we haven't got time for it. But, <laughs> but it's a films thing. Okay. And he went up and he got the award for the film. Which film was it for? <laughs> I don't know, but when I wanted to give you results, I said, I said, let's give Carl his results. Steve went, no, we should introduce people to Carl again, just remind people what Carl's like. And he's so right. I'm so glad we did this first. <laughs> I'm alright though. Or Carry I'm on, wrong. Steve. Okay, the next, uh, the next topic, um, what about this big debate over whether Kylie Minogue has had a bum job? I'd have to see it. <laughs> <laughs> next! <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you make of Will Young's single? He's the pop idol winner. Uh, it's gonna uh, net record-breaking sales, apparently. It's gonna yeah. go straight to number one. He's had millions of copies sold. I heard last week that you had to, um, <laughs> if you wanted to buy it from Woolworths, you had to go in and put a pound down to guarantee you're getting a copy. Wow. I think that's stupid. But what do you make of it, though? Do you think, what, um... as a song? As, both as a song, and do you, are you excited about Will Young and his future? No, it'll do all right. I don't think we we have to worry about him. Okay. It, it'll, yeah, it will do all right. It's not my thing, but he seems like a nice bloke. Okay, good. Really good. Um, what one do you final make? One. Yeah, one final one then. Um, what do you make of our scientists getting the go-ahead to clone embryos for research? We have discussed cloning before, and mm. obviously there's uh, the pros and cons of that. Christopher Reeve, former Superman star, he's behind this. Are you behind him? Yeah. I mean, with everything, you have your good and your bad, don't you? Yeah. At the end of the day. Uh, if you didn't have bad things in the world, then you wouldn't enjoy the good things. I think, you know, it's like if you didn't have robbers in the world, policemen wouldn't have a job. So it's the same thing. It's like, it's an illness. Yeah. So what, 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 what are they messing with? It's probably a bit too detailed to go into there, really, but, um... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's good and bad. You can't have it all. Yin and yang is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Carl, I can't argue with that, mate. Um, I want to play a track now that, uh, I haven't heard for a while. It's the verb, isn't it? Yeah. Sonnet. Lovely song. Coming soon, those big exam results. <laughs> <laughs>
Ha ha ha.